Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. This is Amy, and if you're new, welcome to uh, this is Book Talk Thursday, August 15th, 2024. Uh, yeah, so August is going by pretty quick. I feel like we just started, and I must have slept through it because now we're 15 days later. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but yeah, got my coffee to energize this morning. My pineapple cup. And anyway, yeah, like I said, thanks for coming by. Um, this hopefully will be a short video. Um, I'm just going to do a reading update on um, where I'm at with my library books. Um, I was able to renew most of them. Some One of them I have to return next week by the 22nd. And um, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. But right now we're going to do the weather update. Weather update. Okay, today's weather is supposed to be yesterday was a little cooler than it said it was which was i think it was supposed to be uh 98 and it ended up being 96 yeah today's supposed to be 95 so hopefully these days are going to be a little bit cooler than what it says on my weather app because that would be very nice but saturday and sunday says it's going to be down to 90 which is great because that's way better than 107 108 109 I must say, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like we're go moving towards fall. We're moving that way in that direction. And, uh, so the rest of the week or two, it should be mid low nineties, which make me a happy camper. Still working on the room. Still haven't, I got to get those bookcases in here today. I have a picture that goes up here that I'm taking those two down and they're going to be moved. I have a nice little doggy, uh, painting on canvas and uh yeah my book shelves and that's pretty much all i want to do today because my back's hurting <laughs> but uh yeah so let's get on to book talk tuesday uh thursday excuse me i almost said tuesday it's thursday now the week is whizzing by but um so i'm currently reading um trying to finish this one up probably in the next few days is if it bleeds by stephen king and, um, last girls. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Hey, we're back. The doggy girls. One little, one little squeak of the door and they are just barky bark all over. Anyway, they got kicked out. So as I was saying, if it bleeds, it's a collection for short stories in here. Sorry. I'm, I'm very uncoordinated, but, um, yeah. And I'm currently reading the one that's the uh, same name as the title, If It Bleeds. And that has the Holly Gibney character um, in that one from um, which she started out in the Mr. Mercedes trilogy um, I, by Stephen King also. So that one's going well. I'm really liking that one. I don't know how many pages I'm in because I started in the middle of the book. So yeah, I'm probably at least halfway. But yeah, so I want to finish this one so I can take it back to the library next week. And uh, the next one I have to read after that, because this one I couldn't renew, and it's due on the 22nd, is uh, Abby Jimenez's Just for the Summer. I don't know where to go with that, without the glare. Without the glare. Um, yeah, so I've heard a lot of good things about this from uh, uh, booktubers on YouTube. and. Um, supposed to be a really good one and it also is from a series but they said you can this you can read it as a standalone so you don't have to read the series but um yeah i'm excited to get to this one before summer's over because i have i've had this one on my list for several months to read in the summer i didn't think i was going to get it but it became available at the library i had it on hold and um so we're getting to it and also the rest of my little um yeah i went overboard at the library holds this this month i have uh i have a lot that are <laughs> i did renew most of these so i have a little bit longer than when i started out so i have this many yeah i have that many and the one i just picked up yesterday that i got in that i've been waiting for since it came out in june i think is stephen graham jones's new book 
It's uh, I Was a Teenage Slasher. So I'm excited to get to this one, but this is the last on my pile because it's due. It's due later than these others, so it'll be due last. But yeah, I'm excited to get through this. I'm I'm assuming that I'm going to whip right through it. Um, I don't know if I've actually seen a lot of reviews on it. I know people were reading it, but I don't know. I don't remember the reviews. I'm going to assume it's good. I, I do like Stephen Graham Jones. I read the Angel Lake trilogy and I just read uh, this last month or in June. I read the last one of the Angel Lake series, the 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 Indian Angel Lake or Indian. Anyway, Angel of Indian Lake. Um yeah, I really enjoyed that series. I've read a couple of his other ones, um, Night in the Mannequins, and what was it the last Final Girl? I think it was. I'll pop it up. Um, but yeah, I've read those, and um, I I've enjoyed them. They're horror, so in case you don't know, um, and they're usually graphic, like a horror slasher type thing. But yeah, so that's last on my list. And then I have to go through these. And the next one I want to read after Abby's um, Just for the Summer is I need to take this one back too. So I've had it. It's Riley Sager's Lock Every Door. Um, yeah. So I need to read those ones. And then I'll get through the rest. And um, I do have two other books on hold. I'm trying not to put anything else on hold. Oops. Until piles falling till I get through this pile of books that I borrowed I went a little overboard um I was very ambitious and um things were just becoming available that I wanted to read especially some some newer ones and um and ones that were that I've had for several months um so yeah so I have um what is the one it's the new Riley Sager one. Pop that up. And also Chris Whitaker's All the Colors of the Dark, which I, I'm hearing a lot of rave reviews about. And i um, excited to get to that one. So I'm about, I'm in the number 20s in line for those, but I don't think I'll get those two until probably September. And another book, I have some holds on my Libby app. Um, well, I have some... I'm still reading it. I've kind of postponed it until I get through these next um, three books by next week because I have to turn them in. And it is is my book. I do have the audio again of it. I'm about halfway through of it. So, And I did read the Spy Family vol mangas, volume one and two. I really enjoyed those. Those were fun. I'm, I have the e-book, e-copy through the Libby app of the volume three I'm reading. Um, and I still have the Tanya Kappas um, audio of Mo Motorhomes, Maps, and Murder. Um, that's a cute little cozy mystery. Um, it's only five hours. And I usually listen to it in the car, but I'll be listening to that. I'm like 16%. It's not going to take long. And then I did put this, I did get an audio come through that I've been wanting to read um, since last fall. I heard about it. It's a, co it's a cozy mystery and it's uh, by Juno Black and it's called Shady Hollow. Um, I'm really excited to get to that. That one's not due till September 4th, I think. So I won't read that until the big or listen, listen to that till the beginning of September because it's only six hours. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be kick off the fall. Um, that, that audio will kick off my fall my fall reading flavors, my fall reading ambiance, whatever you want to call it. And then another one I found the audio for, it's a series I've been reading by CJ Box. The um, It's the Highway series slash Cassie Duel series, but this one's Badlands. And that audio is only nine hours. So I have those and the it and the spot. Yeah, I only have... I have five audios right now, but the last two, we're not going to go to September. And I am compiling my September TBR. So hopefully I'll get together. I'll get that together soon. I have no idea. Hopefully I won't have this many books from the library. Um, yeah, it, it's a lot. I overextended myself for August. I was, I was feeling very um, bookish and 
yeah, time wise wasn't the same as what I thought it would be. But um, anywho, so that's the reading update for Book Talk Thursday. And I want to say thanks for coming by. And um, if you cross your fingers and have high hopes, we'll be back here on Tuesday. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about Tuesday. Maybe another reading update. I don't think unless those books come in by the time I go to the library next week. I doubt it. But the two books I have on hold, I don't think so. But we'll probably be getting through. Oh, another thing I wanted to do was probably on Tuesday, I'm, if I remember. Um, re reorganize my TBR for August because I have so many library books. So I'm not sure if every, I think I had 14 books on the list. It's probably more now, but anyway, so yeah, thanks for coming by. Have a good weekend. Um, stay safe out there. It's getting cooler here. Um, if it's getting cold where you are, we'll bundle up, have some cocoa and, um, yeah. And that too. Um, yeah. We'll see you back here on Tuesday. Thanks. Thanks.